today's plan is very simple. We're building the Leaf 60. We're gonna see if we can fuck some GMK space bars. This is a GMK Taro space bar from one of our members. And he was using the Sabies and this happened to his GMK bar. You got it? So let's go ahead and put the 7 u space bar down first before we do anything else. I don't believe in wire balancing. I believe in Holy Mod. And I'm gonna tell you why wire balancing sucks. But basically, if you tap this side and it's like sticking up like this a little bit, it's hitting the table making a sound. So you wanna flatten that down. So what you do is you hold this side and you bend this down. But when you apply force this way, there's an equal and opposite amount of force applied the other way in the rotation, counteracting. So what you're doing is fixing one side and fucking up the other side. And you can be like, oh crap, I made this one flat, now this one's off. So you got this side, and when you twist this one down, you're twisting this one up. So congratulations, you added two degrees this way two degrees this way, and then you're just going back and forth. And the reality is, you're a dumbass. I'm a dumbass. A machine made this and made it imperfect. Do you think you can bend a wire better than a machine? I don't think so. So unless you're Wildcat, forget about uh, wire balancing and just holy mod your stabs or use two TX and stabies. I've tried wire balancing and I've often made it work. If you get proficient at it, sure, but holy mod takes more time but is more guaranteed and consistent. Real quick, we are going to see if we can break this space bar. People are saying that oh, stabies break GMK space bars. Right there, there's a crack. What we have here is a Staby, 7U, this is the before condition. I heard a crack. Whoa, what the f- Hold on. Wait, why is that clicking? Dude, like, this is the this is the content people need to see. Okay, what is that clicking? <laughs> no cracks yet, no cracks. Try the other bar. <laughs> Man, this space is already fucked. Like, this one's not cracking. This looks to be a U7U bar, whatever. Here's a quick shot to show that it is not cracked. Or just use the other bar and just fuck that one up instead. Okay, let me, let's just do the test on this one. Cause I don't really want to break this 7U space bar, it has utility. So this is not, this is for muscles. So let's see about that, cool. Milan Essentials, I don't think they sell it anymore. We can also test if this ticks, so. Alright, we just smacked that, so let's go see. Did this crack? I think it's good. So what I need is a long pole. Okay, here's a long pole. I'm gonna mute this time so you don't hear smacking, but it is smacking. Let's see. Looks pretty good to me, no cracks. What's also interesting now is whether or not we can, whether or not is this ticking? We basically simulated a few weeks of use. So did the stabies tick with just two five G zero? I think that's possible. Yeah, I think that's fine. It's a little for sure, but we didn't plug the button or anything. You want a tight bar? Okay, 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 okay. The theory is that because the other cap was a little loose, it wouldn't cause a crack in the step. All right, smacked it again. Did I break my bar yet? Overall, the final product looks good. The keycaps look fine. We tested the Staby, right? The Staby right here with a GMK spacebar. It's GMK Firefly as well as GMK Bleached, the Black 7U. They're both 7Us. We use a regular pole switch as well as a long pole switch. There's batch variants in Stabies. There was a small number of Stabies which did break GMK bars, but mine did not hear these. I bought, I think I bought this from Apex as well as Cannon Keys. I don't know if that makes you feel any better. At least it's not every single one, but it's gonna be hard to kind of trust them if you have TX as an option. Cause you already know, like one person broke their stem, I didn't. Very anecdotal because it's just me. Don't be afraid using stabies with GMK. Perhaps when you mount it before you solder, see how it feels. These feel normal, so. Are we going full scuff? 